family and friends, come worship at the rivers. To learn and grow. Hi, we would like to welcome you to the rivers. Where your life will never be the same. I'm Pastor Don Givens. And I'm Pastor Susan Givens. And we would like to welcome you to come worship at the rivers. Amen, amen, and amen. Welcome to Rivers of Life Christian Center, Sunday morning words of encouragement. Saints, we thank God for you. We are believing God with you. We thank you that you're believing God with us. Saints, we must work together. We must get in agreement with Jesus Christ. Saints of the Most High God, our God is God. There is none like him. There is none that can compare to him or with him. Our God is on our side and his greatness manifests in our life. So saints, we have to, to, to uh, uh, agree with God. You have to expect God to do great and mighty things in your life. Let me tell you something. There is a lot of things going on right now. But with all that's going on, you must focus on Jesus Christ. You must focus on Jesus Christ. So you have to pick up your Bible. You have to read your Bible. And you have to, to uh, obey the word. Let me tell you something. No one knows the day or the hour when uh, uh, our Heavenly Father is going to call the church out. No one knows but Him. And you can look to the end times all you desire. But let me tell you something. If you're not looking to Jesus Christ, if, you're not, if you are not obedient to the Word, when the Lord calls the church out, you won't be called. See, the Bible told us to be ready, to be aware. I encourage you, obey God. Thanks to the Most High God, the, 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 the day of the Lord is going to happen. And it's going to happen just like he said it would. You, me, or no one else is going to change that. But we can be ready and our salvation sure if we obey God. So I encourage you to take this attitude. It doesn't matter if Jesus Christ calls the church out today, excuse me, if our Heavenly Father calls the church out today, or if he calls the church out a thousand years from now, be ready. Be ready. And you are ready by obeying the word. By obeying the word. We need to focus on the Lord Jesus Christ. We need to stop giving so much glory to the Antichrist. We need, we need to focus on Jesus Christ. The Bible tells us in the book of James that devils believe and shudder. Devils believe and tremble at the name of Jesus Christ. Why do you care so much about the Antichrist? The Antichrist cannot save you. Jesus Christ has saved you. Focus on the Lord. Focus on the Lord. We need to love one another. We need to pray for one another. We need to encourage one another we need to look to the Lord. So I encourage you with all my heart, obey God. 
Obey God. Obey God. Saints, if you would, go with me to Psalm 91. And we're going to look at verse 9 through 10. Psalm 91. We're going to look at verse 9 through 10. And while we focus on what God has done, we focus on the great things that God has, has the benefits that the Lord has made available to us. We realize that our side, our God is on our side. In Psalm 91, 9 through 10, the Bible says this. For you have made the Lord my refuge, even the most high, your dwelling place. Listen to this. No evil will befall you. Well, glory to God. No evil will befall you. Nor will any plague come near your tent. Saints of the Most High God, the Bible commands us to make the Lord our refuge. To make the Lord our refuge. To make the Lord our place of safety. To make the Lord the, the place where we abide. Saints, if we just obey the word, we could focus on the great, on the great thing that God has done. We will walk in the benefits of salvation. For you have made the Lord your refuge. Even the Most High, God, our Heavenly Father, the Lord of hosts, the Creator of all things, the Most High. If we make Him our, we have the opportunity and we are to make him our dwelling place. We, we're not to be uh, trying or tempting to, to make this, this world system our home. The Bible teaches us in no uncertain terms. We have been delivered from the domain of darkness and transferred into the kingdom of his beloved son. So, so our focus need to be on the kingdom of his beloved son, the place where we dwell, the, uh, the place that the Most High has prepared for us. Since this world has nothing on us, Nothing at all. Let's focus on the benefits of the life that's been given to us by the king. Notice what it says in verse 10. No evil will befall you. No evil will befall you. Well, if no evil will befall you, why are we saying that evil has come upon us? That, that's just not possible. Saints, we, need, we must stop listening to the world. We must stop being deceived. We are freed. The Son has made us free, and we are indeed free. The Son keeps us, and the enemy does not touch us. Amen. That's right. And so we cannot be being, we, not, we cannot be in disagreement with God and expect to reap the benefits of salvation. Saints, I got good news. I'm here to tell you, no evil shall befall you. Listen to this. Nor will any plague come near your tent. No matter what the plague might be. It doesn't matter. The Bible says, nor will any plague come near your tent. 
What do you say? Do you agree with God? Of course you do. Saints, our Heavenly Father has wrapped his pinions around us. Nothing shall by any means harm us. We have to stand on what God has said. We have to believe what God has said. Jesus Christ is the high priest over our confession. We speak what the Lord has ordained us to speak and what the Lord commands us to speak is his word. Nothing else. Nothing else. Saints, I'm here to tell you we live a plague-free life. Glory to God. And it's that the Lord might be glorified. That the Lord might be glorified. Let me tell you something. Man cannot do what God has done. So we give God the glory for the benefits of what he has done. Stop looking to flesh and look to the Lord. Call upon the name of the Lord and walk in the greatness of salvation. Saints of the Most High God, I implore you, look to the Lord Jesus Christ. Call on his name. He is faithful. Fall on our faces before our Heavenly Father and give him praise and glory and honor. He is faithful. The Bible says, lo, he is with us always, even to the end of the age. Thanks to the Most High God, we are free. We are not of this world. We are of God. Greater is he who is in us than he who is in the world. So in the name of Jesus Christ, be healed. Be restored in the name of Je Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ heals you. Jesus Christ has made you well. Jesus Christ restores you. Jesus Christ renews you. Glory to God. Jesus Christ has, has, has called you out of the darkness. Jesus Christ has made you perfect in every way and gives you perfect health. The word of Jesus abides in you. You are clean. You are clean. You are clean. You are clean. There is no sin that's a part of you. There is no iniquity that's a part of you. There is no transgression that's a part of you. None. Absolutely none. There is no trespass that's a part of you. The word of Jesus abide in us and we are clean. We are clean. We are blessed with every spiritual blessing in heavenly places in Christ Jesus. There is no curse on us of any kind. The curse cannot survive or abide in the presence of the blessing. Then we are blessed. We are blessed. We are blessed. We are blessed. You speak of yourself. You're blessed. 
never give place to some, some lie telling you something different. Our Heavenly Father is, is faithful. And he has blessed us with every spiritual blessing in heavenly places in Christ Jesus. You take your stand with God. You take your stand with God. You, you're, you're, God is so great. Anything that comes against you has already been defeated. Already been defeated. How God restores. He restores the withered hand. He restores the blinded eye. He restores the missing teeth. He restores that which is, which is uh, born and needs to be made whole. Our God is greater than all of that and everything in between. Look to the Lord. Look to the Lord. Look to the Lord. Do not turn to the left or to the right. Look to the Lord and be made whole. Be made well. That the Lord may be glorified. That the Lord may be glorified. He is faithful and he is true. Saints of the Most High God, write me with your testimony. God is doing and has done great and mighty things in your life, just like he said he would. Give God the glory. Give him thanks. Give him praise. Write me at www.riversoflifecc.com. Again, write me at www.riversoflifecc.com. Go to our testimony page. Leave your testimony and glorify God. That's right. Amen. Leave your testimony and glorify God. Amen. God is great. Saints, if you would, go with me to Romans chapter 4. We're going to read verses 20 through 21. Romans chapter 4. 20 through 21. Saints of the Most High God, read the word. Pray the word. Obey the word. Speak the word. Again, read the word. Pray the word. Obey the word. Speak the word. One more time, read the word, pray the word, obey the word, speak the word, and the word will manifest in your life. Saints, we must have an unwavering prayer life. We must have a fasting regiment. We must read our Bible. We must live a consecrated life. We must refrain from willful sin. Again, we must have an unwavering prayer life. We must have a fasting regimen. We must read our Bible. We must live a consecrated life. We must refrain from willful sin. One more time. We must have an unwavering prayer life. We must have a fasting regimen. We must read our Bible. We must live a consecrated life. We must refrain from willful sin. Saints, if we practice these, we will never stumble. Ever. Ever. We will never stumble. Ever. In Romans chapter 4, we're going we're gonna to look 
at verse 20 and 21. 20 and 21. The Bible says this. Yet with respect to the promise of God, he did not waver in unbelief, but grew strong in faith, giving glory to God, and being fully assured that what God had promised, he was able also to perform. What God had promised, he was able also to perform. Saints of the Most High God, we do not have time to be differing in opinions of ourselves, within ourselves. We do not have time to stagger in doubt. We don't have time for it. Saints of the Most High God, there is no divisions within ourselves. We do not see things in two different ways. We see things God's way. We do not waver in unbelief. We, we, we are not weak in faith, but we are strong in the Lord. Look, saints, we're going to have to stop there, amen? But I'm telling you right now, Go forth in Jesus Christ and give him praise, glory, and honor. Go forth in the Lord. Saints, we, there are those of you who do not know Jesus Christ as your personal Lord and Savior. I encourage you to receive Jesus Christ as your personal Lord and Savior. If that's you, play, pray a prayer like this with me. Lord Jesus Christ. I am a sinner. Lord Jesus Christ, forgive me of my sins. Lord Jesus Christ, save me. Amen. And there, and there are those of you who are apostate. And don't, don't deceive yourself. If you willfully disobey God, you are apostate. Turn from your willful sin. And turn to the Lord. If that's you, please pray a prayer like this with me. Lord Jesus Christ, I turn from my sin. Lord Jesus Christ, I turn to you. Lord Jesus Christ, I confess my sin. Thank you, Lord Jesus Christ. You are faithful and you are righteous to forgive me of my sin and to cleanse me from all unrighteousness. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for your mercy and your grace. Amen. My next invitation is to invite you to go to our YouTube channel. Our YouTube channel is YouTube slash at R-O-L-C-C-V-A. Our YouTube channel is YouTube slash at R-O-L-C-C-V-A. Thank you for visiting our YouTube channel. Please subscribe. Thank you for, uh, for all you do. Saints, let me tell you, God is not looking for golden vessels. God is not looking for silver vessels. God is looking for you and me. Willing vessels. Saints, it's time for us to get busy in the harvest in the harvest, and win as many as we can for the Lord Jesus Christ. I'm believing God to win a million souls for the Lord Jesus Christ, and that's just the beginning. Saints, go to our podcast. We encourage you to go to the R-O-L-C-C-V-A podcast. Our, our, we, we podcast new every Sunday and Wednesday at 5 a.m. We podcast new every Sunday and Wednesday at 5 a.m. Take these words of encouragement with you and listen to them all the time. Be encouraged all the time. Saints, I invite you to come to Rivers of Life Christian Center. We meet at 3940 Airline Boulevard, Suite 104, Chesapeake, Virginia, 23321. Again, 
We are Rivers of Life Christian Center. We meet at 3940 Airline Boulevard, Suite 104, Chesapeake, Virginia, 23321. Saints, we believe you belong here. So you have a church home. You need to be at Rivers of Life Christian Center where all the good things of God is being manifested. All of them. Every believer should be in a church where Jesus Christ is exalted, where the Holy Spirit is in manifestation, where the word of God is ministered in power and without compromise. Every believer should be in a church like Rivers of Life Christian Center. Every believer includes you. It's time to come to church. Our uh, service times are Sunday, 10 a.m., Wednesday, 6.30 p.m. Our service times are Sunday, 10 a.m., Wednesday, 6.30 p.m. Our Wednesday service is online until further notice. Our Wednesday service is online until further notice. Saints, we encourage you to go to our website where you can be encouraged on every page. Our website is www.riversoflifecc.com. Our website is www.riversoflifecc.com. Saints, we encourage you to pray as a minimum one hour per day. We encourage you to pray as a minimum one hour per day. Saints, send us your prayer request. Go to the website, find prayer re request, send us your prayer uh, request so that we can get an agreement with you. We can pray with you. And together, together, we can get your problem solved because Jesus Christ is on our side. Saints, for you we're in, for all the saints, we believe in the Lord, our Heavenly Father, to testify to us with both signs, wonders, miracles, gifts of the Holy Spirit, confirmation of the word, gifts of healing according to his own will. This is God's will for you and me. Saints, we thank you for your donations. We encourage you to go to our donate page. Our donate page is www.riversoflifechristiancenterCC slash donate. www.riversoflifecc Slash donate. Saints, you're, you're, you're helping. You're, you play a vital role in the success of ministering the gospel. There is no ministering the gospel apart from your help. You play a vital role in the success of ministering the gospel. We thank you for your bountiful, gracious gift. Saints, we thank you for your heartfelt, gracious support. And we pray that all the fullness of God's grace abound towards you. Thank you so much. The Bible teaches us man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeds out of the mouth of God. Saints, obey God and reap the benefits of obedience. Obey God and reap the benefits of obedience. Saints of the Most High God, I have good news for you. Grab over this with all your heart and with all your faith. Something good is going to happen to you this very hour, this very day. Jesus of Nazareth is passing your way. Come worship 
at the rivers. Thank you for watching today's words of encouragement. Come worship at the rivers.